Hi, my name is Jesse Mwai. I am a pastor with Crisis Yansa Ministries. More specifically, I'm the senior pastor at Crisis Yansa Ministries in Woodley. I want to wish you a blessed Easter, a happy Easter, and I pray that God will bless you during this Easter season. Welcome to Sitam Church Online. Today we want to share a short brief message on the cross foreshadowed. Easter is all about the cross, the cross of Jesus Christ. There's a story that is re recorded for us in the book of Numbers and I want to just to read it for us maybe so that we can be able to understand the context. They travel from Mount, Mount Hor along the route to the Red Sea to go around Edom. But the people grew impatient with along the way. They spoke against God and against Moses and said, Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the desert? There is no bread, there is no water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent venomous serpents, snakes among them. They beat the people and the Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. We have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is beaten can look at it and leave. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it on a pole. When, then when anyone was beaten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake, he lived. A very interesting and dramatic story that foreshadows the cross of Calvary, the cross that Jesus Christ was to hang on thousands of years later. See, the story here uh, is a very interesting one because the children of Israel, just like us, had sinned against the Lord. Then the Lord allowed judgment to come against his own people and he allowed venomous snakes, serpents, to come and bite the people. Many of them, the Bible tells us, actually died because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. The people cried out and they cried out to God for salvation and then God spoke to Moses in answer to that plea and God told Moses, this is what you're going to do. Go and craft, put together a bronze serpent and then take it and hang it on a pole. Anybody who has been beaten or anybody who will be beaten by the serpent, when they look at that serpent that is hanging on that pole, they will be saved, they will live. See, friend, Jesus Christ was hung on the cross 2,000 years ago. He was put on judgment and, 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 and he gave up his life on that cross, on that mountain called Calvary. He became sin for us in the same way that the serpent in the Bible is representative of the enemy, the enemy of our souls, Satan. Satan is that old serpent. When Jesus Christ was hung on the cross, he took upon himself your sin and my sin so that you and I can be able to look at that cross, to look at Jesus Christ hanging on that cross so that we may be able to live. I want to challenge you this Easter season. Maybe you're there. Maybe you've not been living right. Maybe you have sinned. You know you're a sinner. You know your life does not please God. And maybe you have been beaten by the snake. Maybe the enemy has beaten you. Maybe the enemy has, has molested you. Maybe he has manipulated you. You know you do things you do not want to do. You know you're losing your life because the wages of sin is death. There is hope this Easter season. Jesus is still inviting you to look upon him. He told his disciples and said, when I am lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. Jesus Christ still gives us that invitation, even this Easter. I challenge you, my brother. I challenge you, my sister, wherever you are. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what religion you belong to. It doesn't matter what, you, what creed you subscribe yourself to. It doesn't matter your nationality. It doesn't matter your age. He's inviting you. He says, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Will you accept him today? It's very simple. Maybe you're asking, how can I do this? It's very simple. All you have to do is just open your mouth at this point and say, Dear Jesus, I invite you. Please come into my heart. Come into my life. Come and save me. 
Come and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Come and make me your child. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. If you have prayed that prayer, if we have made that honest plea, then Jesus Christ will come into your heart and he has come into your life and he will make you his child. I challenge you one more time that if you have prayed that prayer, I want to welcome you. Please find a church near you, a place where Jesus Christ is preached, a Bible-believing uh, congregation or community of believers. Go there, identify yourself with those kind of people so that you can be able to grow. Or you can also choose to come and worship with us in any of our churches in Christ is the Answer Ministries. Or you can also get in touch with us and we encourage you, get in touch with us. Text or call us, tell us something and somebody will be on the other side to hear you and to receive you. God bless you again. Happy Easter and thank you for joining us on Sitem Church Online.